Kevin Bacon and Michael Bacon. Hey, how you guys doing? Good, how you doing? Good, good. So, Winnipeg, treating you good? So far, it's great, yeah. What did you guys do today? I saw you were uh, skating. We went skating. <laughs> How'd that go? It was just kind of one of those things just to say that we did it. <laughs> yeah. We did it. <laughs> it's cold, Probably hey? to say we did it. I see, uh, Kev, you're watching uh, Curling, the Briar? I was in the bar last night watching curling, yeah. You've experienced like the full Canadian experience right there. That's exactly right, man. That's in a exactly bar right. watching curling in Winnipeg. I guess this was like the national champions, right? Ships or something, right? Or Yeah, yeah, it's big. Yeah, so, um, yeah, it was, it was cool. Right on. So your show tonight uh, in Winnipeg, and then tomorrow you guys are here in Regina. Right. For people who aren't really familiar, what can they expect from you guys? We have a six-piece band. We run the gamut from some fairly hard, intense, rock and roll things, all electric, to some more, uh, you know, reserved kind of folky things with mandolin, and I play cello in some songs. It's kind of a songwriting-driven band, and we try to, you know, kind of be ourselves, and, you know, we, we try to put on the best show we possibly can. It's really important for us to do. We have a hu- huge history. This is, what, 15 years together or more? Yeah, long time. Um, you know, we, we the history actually goes back before that. It's 15 years of Bacon Brothers, um, you know, when we were kids. We would always get together, and I would look up at my older brother and see the music that he was playing and, and sort of say, well, I'd love to be able to do that someday. And, and I, I really started on, on uh, drums and percussion, and he eventually let me play in a band that he was in. And we would get together and write songs, and, um, you know, it's, it's just always been something that's been part of our lives. Now, Kevin, with your acting career, do you ever find it gets in the way that like you have to prove to people that, you know, you're, you're more than just someone on screen? Well, I think that, um, you know, I think that whether or not I was an act, actor, I would try to do my best with, with the music side of it. Mm-hmm. Um, that's just kind of like the way the way we approach things. We try to, uh, you know, put on the best show and play the best that we can and write the best songs and, and all that kind of stuff. Um, you know, I think that on in, in some in some ways it's it's great because you come to a place like Regina where we've never played before and, and, and people show up and, uh, and you know, maybe they're just going to come you know, just to see you know what I look like in person, um, yeah. and not know anything about the music. Uh, so we can sometimes get a few people in the seats when, if it was just a band that you never heard of and didn't have anybody you know who was involved in it that was famous, it might be a little bit more difficult. Uh, I think that you know, on the other hand, there is a lot of skepticism amongst people yeah. about the idea of an actor being in a band. I know, I know it's true because you know I've got the same thing. Um, you know, I'm. When I hear about somebody else is forming a band, I I, uh, I I have done my share of eye rolling. You know, we've always accepted that that was the reality, so we just try to get it done. Yeah, because I've been listening to you guys for a while, and you've got talent. There's other people out there that maybe try to make that that bridge over from acting, and they just maybe they it's in a way they almost ruin it for you know the other people out there like yourselves. I always think to myself when somebody says that that they they've probably said the same thing to. To the other actors. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, no, I like well, you guys. I listen to you guys, and you guys are actually good, not like the Bacon Brothers. <laughs> no, there's other bands out there. There was a, a guy here before. He went on stage and didn't even have his guitar amped. Didn't know how to play guitar. He was faking it out there. Well, thanks. I mean, I, appreci- I appreciate it, you know, and thanks for, um, at the very least, thanks for checking out the music. I mean, I, I'm... Whenever anybody says that they've actually heard anything that we've done, I'm always thrilled. <laughs> no, you've done some good stuff. You have a, a new album, right? Philadelphia Road, your best of? Yeah, we signed with a company in Germany, and um, they released our, our last CD, um, which was called New Year's Day, and then they did yeah. a best of. And you know, hopefully we'll have have them. They're actually a real record company, which they're few and far between, and they really believe in us, and they've been great over the years. Well, to have a best of that—that that proves you have a. You obviously, you, this is the real thing. Like you have a career, you guys are great you at what you do. Called a best of, not greatest hits. <laughs> well, <laughs> I guess is the fine wording of things, eh? Yes. We for you, your last albums. What are you? What are you guys like? Like I know Kevin, you uh, were tweeting about Bruce Springsteen. Is you a fan of the Boss? Yeah, I am a fan, and I—I uh, I, uh, yeah, I was tweeting about that, listening to that uh, uh, that new one, which I think is. Uh, you know, it's great. I mean, you know, one of the things about you know Bruce, lo- love him or hate him, I mean, he he definitely doesn't rest on his on his um, laurels. You know, he keeps delivering all new music, and there's not a lot of people. There's a lot of bands that uh, you know have always been great and can get out there and play the hits, and they may not be young people, but they're you know still can you know rock pretty hard. But there's not that many who are really turning over you know new record after new record. I really admire him for that. Well, it's hard, I think, when you have a career and you are someone of a name like Bruce Springsteen. When you put on new stuff, there's a risk, right? If you, you lose the old fans in a way. Oh, yeah, for sure. 
So when you were younger, what, what did you guys grow up on? What did you listen to? What, what got you started? I grew up on originally kind of folk music. And then when the English invasion hit, I think the Rolling Stones were a big inspiration. Yeah, they're a big anniversary, the Stones, 50 years this year. Is it really? Wow. Isn't that great? Wow. They paved the road for old people like my brother and I to still be playing. <laughs> you guys are I young. Started 30, I don't know if you knew this, but 30 was it. Like, you know, once you're 30, you just quit life. And the idea of someone over 30 playing rock and roll is ridiculous. And, uh, you know, now that's really changed. And I think it's a great thing. Well, if you love it, you keep going, right? 15 compared to 50, you guys got lots of time left together. We do. Well, it's going to be a killer show tomorrow, you guys. I uh, look forward to seeing you at the casino. It's going to be great to have you guys down here. Appreciate your help with the show. All right. Well, thank, on, you. thank you very thank much you. for the time. Okay, Take care.